there are many games with tricky names that are just hard to pronounce. And this one, well, it's just the trickiest. I'll put it up on screen for you, but out of the respect of the developers, if I mention this game by name, I'm going to call it Flowers. Because I cannot pronounce that to save my life. So, yeah. But this is a game from Twilight Frontier. Flowers is a love child of shmups and fighting games mixed together. This game is very different than any other fighting game I've ever played, and definitely one that I won't forget. But is it worth the $35? Let's find out. The art style looks very anime, but it's super nice and super clean. Sometimes you get smaller games like this that don't look as good. But these look really high quality, something you would see out of a typical anime or manga. The characters in the backgrounds also look great. One of my favorite stages is where you're in a big city and the buildings are flying by, zooming past you. It really has a neat look to it. The music is also pretty nice and fits well with the game. Lots of variety with the tracks and I just enjoy them. It does tell a story with images over top characters and stuff like that, or characters on top of images I should say, which is typical for some anime games. It's there if you want the story, but I just didn't feel it. And about the story mode. The story has you play through with various characters who team up, and they're doing this thing called Perfect Possession, which allows a host to swap between one body and another. I don't really fully understand what's going on, there's not really any context or anything given beforehand, so, and I'm not familiar with this game or series, so I can't really say for certain what really is going on other than there's these anime girls that possess these other anime girls i really don't know but let's talk about the gameplay switching is a key part of the game as each character has their own unique moves and abilities that are different from one another so think of it like this it's basically a shmup mixed with a fighting game you can basically mash the attack button if you want to do a basic auto combo or you can go ahead and do a move where you can just send projectiles at your enemy like a shmup. But the thing is, you need to find a balance between both and make sure that both of these things work to your advantage. And in story mode, it's very important because the enemy gets a shield during the second phase of each boss battle that you fight. You have to really think strategically or else you're going to get your butt whooped. I only have a couple of gripes. One of the biggest things I have is the text issue. It doesn't seem like they fully translate everything. There's some parts that feel like they really left it out, like this one screen where you pick your characters and you have these moves that you can choose from, but you don't know what they are because they're in Japanese, so you can't really read them. You don't know what they do. You see a number, so that's probably the cost of them, I guess, or the damage they do. I don't know because I can't read it. And also, my other biggest gripe is that there's no tutorial mode to show you how to play, because this isn't just your guard variety fighter. This is a unique experience. And luckily, with my experience in fighting games, I kind of was able to figure things out on my own, but if you are a complete noob or never really experienced a fighting game in your life, this may be confusing, and you may give up in frustration because you don't know what to do. There is a training mode where you can go and practice up on your moves, and it's got great training settings and stuff, but there is nothing, nothing there to teach you what to do. So, yeah, you just kind of got to learn on the fly and hope you figure it out. And unfortunately, I was not able to test the online and see what the netcode was like because I couldn't find any players. It's unfortunate. Don't really blame the game itself. I, I don't really blame this game for because it is kind of a niche game. But I will say, though, if you had a friend or two over and you were playing it, or they decided to get a copy and you decided to play against each other, I'm sure you would probably have a good time. I will say also on the normal difficulty when you're facing against the computer AI in story mode, it's a little easy until I get to that second phase like I mentioned. Though overall, Flowers is a fantastic game with some issues. While these games apparently have existed for a long time and I've never really tried them. If you're a vet to these series, I'm sure you're going to find a lot of enjoyment out of it. It looks great, and I forgot to mention the music sounds great too. There's various music tracks that you can listen to, which all sound fantastic. So, 
If you do want to give this game a try, I do sort of recommend it, though I will say I recommend it with a caution. If you're not experienced with fighting games, or playing fighting games whatsoever, or this genre of fighting game, then you might want to hold off on it for a little bit. But if you like fighting games, you like shmups, and you want to give it a go and give it something to try, then I say it's not too bad of a time. Just don't expect to have it show you what to do. It's basically like, good luck, figure it out, kid. Anyways, let me know what you think. Have you played this genre of shmup fighting game before? Have you played these type of games before? Are you interested in these at all? So let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell to let yourself know when new content rops on this channel. And till next time, everybody, I love you and game on.